had a, a nice open house, big open house. We had a, a jazz player, uh, a saxophonist, uh, Don Diego, he's a local guy. And we had a, a Mexican buffet uh, that was laid out in the back here. We probably had about 100, 120 people. So it worked wow. well. It worked well, yeah. We had about eight, eight to 10 physicians that came by. Wow. The Everything. food made a difference, a big difference. Okay. And then us getting out, letting people know that we had it. Like I said, we, we never really went out to really solicit referrals mm -hmm. from doctors. We just went out to say, this is what we have. Come by and see all this stuff. If you didn't have the pool, even with this, without the pool, but with this beautiful facility. It would be hard to survive in the industry. Really? We have a lot of competition in this area. This building... When we did that in 06, we realized how much it increased our census and our business, our revenue. So then we started to look at, okay, let's do the same thing in Grand Prairie. Let's find a building, purchase the building, and put the pool in. We started to look at a new facility, a facility that was a shell. This was a shell. So we were able to come in and do our own design, lay it out the way we wanted it. Um, we do the pool 30 to 45 minutes. We bring patients out, we put them on land, we stretch them. Okay? We do the pool for about two weeks, three times a week, and then we begin to wean the patient out. We, they go in the pool two days a week for the next two weeks and one day of land. Then week five and six, they're only in the pool one day. Got it, got if we go two months, they have two weeks of just all land banks, and then they're ready for discharge, or if they're not, we reduce the frequency to two days a week and we just do laying from there. I would say about 90 to 95% of our patients will go in the pool. Okay. Because they will have some indication of muscle spasms, um, muscle tension, um, uh, reduced functional mobility, um, limited range of motion. So they would have a reason, an increased pain. Yeah, a reason why, and we can't really move them on laying as much without a lot of discomfort and a lot Make of pain. Come back, so yeah. when we put them in the water, it's a little different. Yeah. I had a period of time when um, I think I had a flare up of the gout. <clears throat> You're and, sure. Uh huh. And I was working out, and I was doing like an hour of cardio and hitting the weights for about 30 minutes. And so coming back to start my workouts, I said, well, I'm going to see if I still have it with my cardio. So I got on the Stairmaster for 30 minutes. And usually you get on that Stairmaster after not doing anything for like a month or six weeks. It's like, you know, it, you're going to be sore. Sure. You know, you can't, you can't even squat. You know, can't get in and out of the car. And um, following that, I went to the pool for like 20 minutes and jogged on the treadmill. After, 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 the, after the Stairmaster. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, it was like the next day, I never worked out. I didn't feel, I wasn't sore or anything. 